Hi everybody, my name's Helen and I've been asked by Rise Above to talk about body confidence, being healthy and loving yourself. I am a personal style, fashion-y, hair, beauty, blogger, whatever you want to call it, right? So I have actually had kind of issues with this considering I'm not your standard you know, model size kind of gal. So I'm gonna be talking to you about this kind of thing and just things to bear in mind about body, your body and loving yourself and everything and not let the world put you down. Okay, being a fashion blogger and being online and having your photo taken and being sort of around and everything and, and, and looking at things on mediums and stuff, my personal experience is for example, I have been deemed many times as a plus size model. It's not that I have a problem with plus size models, it's just more of the fact that I've been asked to be a plus size model for say, I don't know, a magazine or a blog or a website's blog as part of their website. The fact is, I'm a size 10 to 12 and my point being is just because I might not be really, really skinny or like model size, they're asking girls like me that are slightly bigger than what they would normally use as a model to represent their plus sizes. And if I'm gonna be honest, I was slightly offended by that because in reality, I'm a normal kind of girl. I'm a normal size. Which leads me on to my second point. If we were to see a model on a catwalk that was a size 12 to 14, everybody would literally be like, there would be like some massive uproar. However, if you saw a size 12 to 14, 16 girl, or even bigger, down the street, you wouldn't even bat an eyelid. The media are putting down our throats what we think we should be looking like and what our expectations should be, when in reality, it's not like that at all. No one actually cares. Point number three. The media does make everything worse. We are bombarded with advertisements, with with editorials, with videos of girls that are quite small. And again, I am not slamming, I'm not hating on skinny girls. I'm just saying that the amount of smaller girls that the media use for advertising and everything, which they're selling to a really large amount of people, they're forgetting actually who they're selling to aren't always that small or that size. So they make it a lot worse because they're kind of forcing us to look at these images and make us feel bad about ourselves because we don't look like that. Or that that swimming costume's not gonna look good on me because I'm not a size zero. Or those skinny jeans are gonna look terrible on me because I don't have thin thighs. Point number four. This imagery that's being forced down our throats can't make you feel bad. You need to remember that everybody is a different size. We need to stop letting the media making us feel bad about our bodies. We need to stop letting Tumblr, fashion blogs, magazines making us feel awful because we don't look like the person on the image. That is the online world, that is the virtual world. The corporate companies, the magazines, they're trying to sell to you, but they're not using people that you see every single day to sell their items, which makes them not have an idea of what reality is. What is reality is the people around you, the people in your friendship group, your family, people walking down the street, they are the real people. There's no perfect body. People have big bums, big boobs, boobs, big thighs, big calves. You could be a size eight on your top, but because you've got booty, you could be a size 14. And this leads me on to my final point. Don't let the number on the tag let you feel bad. I'm a size eight to 10 on my top half, but I'm a size 14 on my bottom half, purely because I have a big butt. Everybody is different in different places. And also shops aren't that great at keeping their sizes consistent. In one shop I might be a 10, in another shop I might be a 14. Don't look at the tag and make yourself feel bad because it's larger than normal or smaller than normal. That's absolute rubbish. Everybody is different in all the different ways and all that matters is that you go around wearing your clothes with a smile on your face. We need to remember that there is no perfect size or no perfect body. Everybody is different, everybody has their own qualities. So to sum it up really is love yourself, be healthy, be happy, make sure you're looking after yourself and remember don't try and define yourself by what you see on the TV or in a magazine and don't also try to define yourself by the sizes you see in your clothes. You are what you are and you should be completely happy with who you are because you are beautiful. I hope you all have a lovely day and goodbye.